Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Bissau, listen, Portuguese, Guinea-Bissau, Fula, Jin Bissau, Mandinka. It borders Senegal to the north and Guinea to the southeast. Guinea-Bissau was once part of the Kingdom of Cabo, as well as part of the Mali Empire. Parts of this kingdom persisted until the 18th century, while a few others were under some rule by the Portuguese Empire since the 16th century. In the 19th century, it was colonized as Portuguese Guinea. Upon independence declared in 1973 and recognized in 1974, the name of its capital, Bissau, was added to the country's name to prevent confusion with Guinea, formerly French Guinea. Guinea-Bissau has a history of political instability since independence, and only one elected president, José Mario Vez, has successfully served a full five-year term. The current president is Yumaro Sissoko Mbalo, who was elected on 29 December 2019. Only about 2% of the population speaks Portuguese, the official language, as a first language, and 33% speak it as a second language. However, Creole is the national language and also considered the language of unity. According to a 2012 study, 54% of the population speak Creole as a first language and about 40% speak it as a second language. The remainder speak a variety of native African languages. There are diverse religions in Guinea-Bissau. Christianity and Islam are the main religions practiced in the country. The country's per capita gross domestic product is one of the lowest in the world. Guinea-Bissau is a member of the United Nations, African Union, Economic Community of West African States, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Community of Portuguese Language Countries, La Francophonie, and the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone and was a member of the now-defunct Latin Union. History Archaeology has insufficiently explained the Guinea-Bissau prehistory. In 1000 C, there were hunter-gatherers in the area hundreds of thousands of years after they traversed the rest of Africa. This was shortly followed in the archaeological record by agriculturists using iron tools. Guinea-Bissau was once part of the Kingdom of Cabo, part of the Mali Empire in the 16th century. Parts of this kingdom persisted until the 18th century. Other parts of the territory in the current country were considered by the Portuguese as part of their empire. Portuguese Guinea was known as the Slave Coast, as it was a major area for the exportation of African slaves by Europeans to the Western Hemisphere. Early reports of Europeans reaching this area include those of the Venetian Alvis Catamosto's voyage of 1455, the 1479-1480 voyage by Flemish-French trader Eustache de La Fosse and Diogo Cao. In the 1480s this Portuguese explorer reached the Congo River and the lands of Bacongo, setting up the foundations of modern Angola, Although the rivers and coast of this area were among the first places colonized by the Portuguese, who set up trading posts in the 16th century, they did not explore the interior until the 19th century. The local African rulers in Guinea, some of whom prospered greatly from the slave trade, controlled the inland trade and did not allow the Europeans into the interior. They kept them in the fortified coastal settlements where the trading took place. African communities that fought back against slave traders also distrusted European adventurers and would-be settlers. The Portuguese in Guinea were largely restricted to the ports of Bissau and Cashew. A small number of European settlers established isolated farms along Bissau's inland rivers. For a brief period in the 1790s, the British tried to establish a rival foothold on an offshore island at Baloma. But by the 19th century, the Portuguese were sufficiently secure in Bissau to regard the neighboring coastline as their own special territory, also up north in part of present South Senegal. 
An armed rebellion, begun in 1956 by the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde Cake, under the leadership of Amilcar, Cabral gradually consolidated its hold on the then Portuguese Guinea. Unlike guerrilla movements in other Portuguese colonies, the Pake rapidly extended its military control over large portions of the territory, aided by the jungle-like terrain, its easily reached border lines with neighboring allies, and large quantities of arms from Cuba, China, the Soviet Union, and left-leaning African countries. Cuba also agreed to supply artillery experts, doctors, and technicians. The PAIG even managed to acquire a significant anti-aircraft capability in order to defend itself against aerial attack. By 1973, the PAIG was in control of many parts of Guinea, although the movement suffered a setback in January 1973, when Cabral was assassinated. Independence 1973. Independence was unilaterally declared on 24 September 1973, which is now celebrated as the country's Independence Day, a public holiday. Recognition became universal following 25 April 1974 socialist-inspired military coup in Portugal, which overthrew Lisbon's Estado Novo regime. Nicolae Sosescu's Romania was the first country to formally recognize Guinea-Bissau and the first to sign agreements with the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde. Louis Cabral, brother of Amilcar and co-founder of PAIC, was appointed the first president of Guinea-Bissau. Following independence, the PAIC killed thousands of local Guinean soldiers who had fought alongside the Portuguese army against the guerrillas. Some escaped to settle in Portugal or other African nations. One of the massacres occurred in the town of Bissora. In 1980, the PAIC acknowledged in its newspaper No Pincha dated 29 November 1980 that many Guinean soldiers had been executed and buried in unmarked collective graves in the woods of Cumara, Portugal, and Mansaba. The country was controlled by a revolutionary council until 1984. The first multi-party elections were held in 1994. An army uprising in May 1998 led to the Guinea-Bissau Civil War and the president's ousting in June 1999. Elections were held again in 2000 and Kamba Ayala was elected president. In September 2003, a military coup was conducted. The military arrested Ayala on the charge of being unable to solve the problems. After being delayed several times, legislative elections were held in March 2004. A mutiny of military factions in October 2004 resulted in the death of the head of the armed forces and caused widespread unrest. From Vera years to present. In June 2005, Presidential elections were held for the first time since the coup that deposed Ayala. Ayala returned as the candidate for the PRS, claiming to be the legitimate president of the country. Vieira beat Malam Akai Sanha in a runoff election. Sanha initially refused to concede, claiming that tampering and electoral fraud occurred in two constituencies, including the capital, Bissau. Despite reports of arms entering the country prior to the election and some disturbances during campaigning, including attacks on government offices by unidentified gunmen, foreign election monitors described the 2005 election overall as calm and organized. Three years later, Pank won a strong parliamentary majority, with 67 of 100 seats in the parliamentary election held in November 2008. In November 2008, President Vieira's official residence was attacked by members of the armed forces, killing a guard but leaving the president unharmed. On 2 March 2009, however, Vieira was assassinated by what preliminary reports indicated to be a group of soldiers avenging the death of the head of Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Batista Tagmi Nawai, who had been killed in an explosion the day before. 
Fiera's death did not trigger widespread violence, but there were signs of turmoil in the country, according to the advocacy group Swiss Peace. Military leaders in the country pledged to respect the constitutional order of succession. National Assembly Speaker Raimundo Pereira was appointed as an interim president until a nationwide election on 28 June 2009. It was won by Malam Bakai Sanha of the PAIC against Kumba Ayala as the presidential candidate of the PRS. On 9 January 2012, President Sanha died of complications from diabetes and Pereira was again appointed as an interim president. On the evening of 12 April 2012, former Vice Chief of Staff, General Mamadou Tour Kuruma, assumed control of the country in the transitional period and started negotiations with opposition parties. Jose Mario Vaz was the president of Guinea-Bissau from 2014 till 2019 presidential elections. At the end of his term, Vaz became the first elected president to complete his five-year mandate. He lost the 2019 election, however, to Humaro Sissoko Mbalo, who took office in February 2020. Mbalo is the first president to be elected without the backing of the PAIC. Politics. Guinea-Bissau is a republic. In the past, the government had been highly centralized. Multi-party governance was not established until mid-1991. The president is the head of state and the prime minister is the head of government. Since 1974, no president had successfully served a full five-year term until recently when Jose Mario Vez ended his five-year term on 24 June 2019. At the legislative level, a unicameral assembly and national popular national people's assembly is made up of 100 members. They are popularly elected from multi-member constituencies to serve a four-year term. The judicial system is headed by a tribunal supremo da justica supreme court made up of nine justices appointed by the president. They serve at the pleasure of the president. The two main political parties are the PAIC African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde and the PRS Party for Social Renewal. There are more than 20 minor parties. Foreign Relations Guinea-Bissau follows a non-aligned foreign policy and seeks friendly and cooperative relations with a wide variety of states and organizations. Guinea-Bissau is a founding member state of the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, CPLP, also known as the Lusophone Commonwealth and International Organization and Political Association of Lusophone Nations across four continents, where Portuguese is an official language. Military. A 2019 estimate put the size of the Guinea-Bissau armed forces at around 4,000, 400 personnel and military spending is less than 2% of GDP. In 2018, Guinea-Bissau signed the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Administrative Divisions Guinea-Bissau is divided into eight regions, regios, and one autonomous sector, sector autonomo. These, in turn, are subdivided into 37 sectors. The regions are Geography Guinea-Bissau is bordered by Senegal to the north and Guinea to the south and east, with the Atlantic Ocean to its west. It lies mostly between latitudes 11 deg and 13 deg, and a small area is south of 11 deg, and longitudes 11 deg and 15 deg w. At 36,125 square kilometers 13,948 sq mi, the country is larger in size than Taiwan or Belgium. The highest point is 300 meters, 984 ft. Its terrain is mostly low coastal plains with swamps of the Guinean mangroves rising to the Guinean forest savanna mosaic in the east. Its monsoon-like rainy season alternates with periods of hot, dry harmattan winds blowing from the Sahara. The Bijagos archipelago lies off of the mainland. The country is home to two accordions, 
Guinean forest savanna mosaic and Guinean mangroves. Climate. Guinea-Bissau is warm all year round with mild temperature fluctuations. It averages 26. 3 deg C79. 3 deg F. The average rainfall for Bissau is 2024 20, mm 79. 7 in, although this is almost entirely accounted for during the rainy season, which falls between June and September slash October. From December through April, the country experiences drought. Environmental problems. Severe environmental problems include deforestation, soil erosion, overgrazing, and overfishing. Guinea-Bissau had a 2019 Forest Landscape Integrity Index mean score of 5. 7 slash 10, ranking 97th globally out of 172 countries. Economy. Guinea-Bissau's GDP per capita is one of the lowest in the world, and its Human Development Index is one of the lowest on Earth. More than two-thirds of the population lives below the poverty line. The economy depends mainly on agriculture. Fish, cashew nuts, and ground nuts are its major exports. A long period of political instability has resulted in depressed economic activity, deteriorating social conditions, and increased macroeconomic imbalances. It takes longer, on average, to register a new business in Guinea-Bissau 233 days, or about 33 weeks, than in any other country in the world except Suriname. Guinea-Bissau has started to show some economic advances after a pact of stability was signed by the main political parties of the country, leading to an IMF-backed structural reform program. The key challenges for the country in the period ahead are to achieve fiscal discipline, rebuild public administration, improve the economic climate for private investment, and promote economic diversification. After the country became independent from Portugal in 1974 due to the Portuguese colonial war and the Carnation Revolution, the rapid exodus of the Portuguese civilian, military, and political authorities resulted in considerable damage to the country's economic infrastructure, social order, and standard of living. After several years of economic downturn and political instability in 1997, Guinea-Bissau entered the CFA franc monetary system, bringing about some internal monetary stability. The civil war that took place in 1998 and 1999, and a military coup in September 2003 again disrupted economic activity, leaving a substantial part of the economic and social infrastructure in ruins and intensifying the already widespread poverty. Following the parliamentary elections in March 2004 and presidential elections in July 2005, the country is trying to recover from the long period of instability, despite a still fragile political situation. Beginning around 2005, Drug traffickers based in Latin America began to use Guinea-Bissau, along with several neighboring West African nations, as a transshipment point to Europe for cocaine. The nation was described by a United Nations official as being at risk for becoming a narco-state. The government and the military have done little to stop drug trafficking, which increased after the 2012 coup d'etat. The government of Guinea-Bissau continues to be ravaged by illegal drug distribution, according to The Week magazine. Guinea-Bissau is a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa, OHADA. Society. Demographics. According to the 2019 revision of the world population prospects, Guinea-Bissau's population was 1,874,303 in 2018, compared to 518,000 in 1950. The proportion of the population below the age of 15 in 2010 was 41. 3% 55. 4% were aged between 15 and 65 years of age, while 3. 3% were aged 65 years or older. Ethnic groups. 
The population of Guinea-Bissau is ethnically diverse and has many distinct languages, customs, and social structures. Bissau Guineans can be divided into the following ethnic groups. Fila and the Mandinka-speaking people, who comprise the largest portion of the population and are concentrated in the north and northeast. Belanta and Papel people, who live in the southern coastal regions. And Manjaco and Mankenha, who occupy the central and northern coastal areas. Most of the remainder are Mesticos of mixed Portuguese and African descent. Portuguese natives comprise a very small percentage of Bissau Guineans. After Guinea-Bissau gained independence, most of the Portuguese nationals left the country. The country has a tiny Chinese population. These include traders and merchants of mixed Portuguese and Chinese ancestry from the former Asian Portuguese colony of Macau. Major cities. Main cities in Guinea-Bissau include languages. Despite being a small country, Guinea-Bissau has several ethnic groups which are very distinct from each other with their own cultures and languages. This is due to Guinea-Bissau being a refugee and migration territory within Africa. Colonization and racial intermixing brought Portuguese and the Portuguese Creole known as Creole or Creolo. Although the only official language of Guinea-Bissau since independence, standard Portuguese is spoken mostly as a second language, with few native speakers, and its use is often confined to the intellectual and political elites. It is the language of government and national communication as a legacy of colonial rule. Schooling from the primary to tertiary levels is conducted in Portuguese, although only 67% of children have access to any formal education. Data suggests that the number of Portuguese speakers ranges from 11 to 15%. In the latest census 2009-27, 1% of the population claimed to speak non-Creole Portuguese 46. 3% of city dwellers and 14. 7% of the rural population, respectively. Portuguese Creole is spoken by 44% of the population and is effectively the lingua franca among distinct groups for most of the population. Creole's usage is still expanding and it is understood by the vast majority of the population. However, decreolization processes are occurring due to undergoing interference from standard Portuguese, and the Creole forms a continuum of varieties with the standard language. The most distant are Basilates and the closer ones Acrolites. A post-Creole continuum exists in Guinea-Bissau and Creole leave soft Creole variety being closer to the Portuguese language norm. The remaining rural population speaks a variety of native African languages unique to each ethnicity, Fila 16%, Belanta 14%, Mandinka 7%, Manjak 5%, Papel 3%, Philoop 1%, Bifada 0%. Row, row, row. Seven percent by Jago zero. Row, 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 row. Three percent and Nalu zero. One percent, which form the ethnic African languages spoken by the population. Most Portuguese and Mesticos speakers also have one of the African languages and Creole as additional languages. Ethnic African languages are not discouraged in any situation, despite their lower prestige. These languages are the link between individuals of the same ethnic background and daily used in villages, between neighbors or friends, traditional and religious ceremonies, and also used in contact between the urban and rural populations. However, none of these languages are dominant in Guinea-Bissau. French is taught as a foreign language in schools because Guinea-Bissau is surrounded by French-speaking nations. Guinea-Bissau is a full member of the Francophonie. Religion. There are conflicting reports of religious demographics. The CIA World Factbook has a 2008 estimate of 45. 1% Muslim, 
22. 1% Christian, 14. 9% animist, 2% none, and 15. 9% unspecified. In 2010, a Pew Research survey found that the primary affiliation of the population is 45. 1% Muslim and 19. 7% Christian with 30. 9% folk religion and 4. 3 for other affiliations. A 2015 Pew Templeton study claims a different distribution in 2010, consisting of 45. 1% Muslim, 30. 9% folk religions, 19. 7% Christians, and 4. 3% unaffiliated. According to another Pew report, Concerning religious identity among Muslims, it was determined that in Guinea-Bissau there is no prevailing sectarian identity. Under this same category were other sub-Saharan countries like Tanzania, Uganda, Liberia, Nigeria, and Cameroon. Other nations around the world claimed to be either predominantly just Muslim, mix of Sunni and Shia, or predominantly Sunni PG. 30. This Pew research also stated that countries in this specific study that declared to not have any clear dominant sectarian identity were mostly concentrated in sub-Saharan Africa. Another Pew report, The Future of World Religions, predicts that from 2010 to 2050 Islam will increase its percent of the population in Guinea-Bissau. Many residents practiced syncretic forms of Islamic and Christian faiths, combining their practices with traditional African beliefs. Muslims dominate the North and East, while Christians dominate the South and coastal regions. The Roman Catholic Church claims most of the Christian community. Health. Education. Education is compulsory from the age of 7 to 13. Preschool education for children between 3 and 6 years of age is optional, and in its early stages. There are five levels of education, preschool, elemental, and complementary basic education. Basic education is under reform and now forms a single cycle, comprising six years of education. Secondary education is widely available, and there are two cycles, seventh to ninth class and tenth to eleventh class. Professional education in public institutions is non-operational, however private school offerings opened, including the Centro de Formacao São João Bosco since 2004 and the Centro de Formacao Luis Inicio Lula da Silva since 2011. Higher education is limited and most prefer to be educated abroad, with students preferring to enroll in Portugal. A number of universities, to which an institutionally autonomous faculty of law as well as a faculty of medicine child labor is very common. The enrollment of boys is higher than that of girls. In 1998, the gross primary enrollment rate was 53.5%, with higher enrollment ratio for males 67. 7% compared to females 40%. Non-formal education is centered on community schools and the teaching of adults. In 2011, the literacy rate was estimated at 55, 3% 68, 9% male and 42, 1% female. Conflicts. Usually, the many different ethnic groups in Guinea-Bissau coexist peacefully, but when conflicts do erupt, they tend to revolve around access to land. Culture. Media. Music. The music of Guinea-Bissau is usually associated with the polyrhythmic gum genre, the country's primary musical export. However, civil unrest and other factors have combined over the years to keep gum and other genres out of mainstream audiences, even in generally syncretist African countries. The kabasa is the primary musical instrument of Guinea-Bissau and is used in extremely swift and rhythmically complex dance music. Lyrics are almost always in Guinea-Bissau Creole, a Portuguese-based Creole language, and are often humorous and topical 
revolving around current events and controversies. The word gumb is sometimes used generically to refer to any music of the country, although it most specifically refers to a unique style that fuses about ten of the country's folk music traditions. Tina and tinga are other popular genres, while extant folk traditions include ceremonial music used in funerals, initiations, and other rituals, as well as Balanta Braska and Kusund, Mandinga Jambadan, and the Kundir sound of the Bisegos Islands. Cuisine Rice is a staple in the diet of residents near the coast and millet a staple in the interior. Fruits and vegetables are commonly eaten along with cereal grains. The Portuguese encouraged peanut production. Vigna subterranea bambara groundnut and macrotiloma geocarpum hossa groundnut are also grown. Black-eyed peas are also part of the diet. Palm oil is harvested. Common dishes include soups and stews. Common ingredients include yams, sweet potato, cassava, onion, tomato, and plantain. Spices, peppers, and chilies are used in cooking, including a Fremama melageta seeds guinea pepper. Film Flora Gomes is an internationally renowned film director. His most famous film is NHA Fala English, My Voice. Gomes' is More Hugh Nega Death Denied 1988 was the first fiction film and the second feature film ever made in Guinea-Bissau. The first feature film was Enterudu by director Umban Akist in 1987. At Fespaco 1989, Mortu Nega won the prestigious Almaru Ganda Prize. In 1992, Gomes directed Aju Azul de Yanta, which was screened in the Uncertain Regard section at the 1992 Cannes Film Festival. Gomes has also served on the boards of many Africa-centric film festivals. The actress Babatida Sajo was born in Bafata, Guinea-Bissau. Sports Football is the most popular sport in Guinea-Bissau. The Guinea-Bissau national football team is controlled by the Federacao de Futebol da Guinea-Bissau. They are a member of the Confederation of African Football CAF and FIFA. Other football clubs include Desportivo Quelel, FC Catacumba, FC Catacumba São Domingos, FC Cupaleo Gabu, FC Jaraf, FC Prabis, and FC Babac. Well-known football players who were born in Guinea-Bissau include Ansu Fati Bissau, 2002, has been playing for FC Barcelona, Spain since 2019. Bruma Bissau, 1994, has been playing for PSV Eindhoven, the Netherlands, since 2019. Ederzito Antonio Macedo Lopes Eder Bissau, 1987, has been playing for Lokomotiv Moscow, Russia, since 2018. Mama Samba Bolda Bissau, 1995, has been playing for Dijon FCO, France, since 2019. Jolson Fernandez Bissau, 2014, has been playing for Sporting Lisbon, Portugal, since 2020. Danilo Luis Helio Pereira Danilo Bissau, 1991, has been playing for Paris Saint-Germain, Portugal since 2020. Carlos Imbalo Bissau, 1994, has been playing for KAS Upin, Belgium since 2019. Tony Brito Silva saw Tony Silva Bissau, 1993, has been playing for FC Tarez, Kazakhstan since February 2020. Jorge Fernando Barbosa Intima, known as Georgian Ho, Bissau 1995, has been playing for Wadi Digla, Cairo, Egypt, since November 2020.